what's happening. Yashahime, Princess Half Demon, the sequel to Inuyasha. Everyone loves Inuyasha. I, I loved it back in the day. I enjoyed watching it. You know, and uh, the final act was nice to finally give us some kind of closure. And uh, I love Rumiko uh, Takashi's uh, style look. Check out a lot of my reviews I have on her, especially some of those more underknown, uh, underknown, not underknown, but underknown, Un underrated. That's a better word, wouldn't you say? But uh, Yasha Hime, Princess Half Demon, is uh, again feel Japan, and that's uh, the daughters of Inuyasha and Sasomaru. So far, I mean, it's it's only so far, but yeah, it has the nostalgia, and you feel happy about it. But I still feel like. Uh, it's it still needs the build up, but it is only the beginning. I just hope it doesn't tear not to be like Boruto and crap like that. You know how it is with the children passing to the torch stuff. It's usually never good. But I love Rumuka Taka Takahashi's work. Uh, it's all there. The voices, the music. It's basically that, and it doesn't feel like a carbon copy of it. Like a lot of people are talking about how like like the girls, the daughters, they're kind of like their dads. Which yes, but I I don't think it's more of that. As them being them, but just as girls. You know, like, it's it's basically them, but with boobs and vaginas and stuff like that. I feel like it's more of, uh... You know, it's not exactly the same things. It's just they share the qualities of their, uh... Parents, which is very nice. And right off the bat, I'm just gonna say... Got the good designs, it's cool. I mean, it's got its moments, it's funny. It's The story's getting there, the characters are getting there. We finally get to see Inuyasha and Kagome. Hooray! And stuff like that. Everyone's still wondering about Sashomaru. We all know it's Ren. And I'm just going to say, going to leave it easy because it can turn into a whole Ren video. All the people that are upset about Ren, you people need to get psychiatric help. Just get over me. People are death-threatened, getting, you know, straitjacket type crazy over this idea. They weren't father and daughter. If you People who clearly say they watched it or read it clearly didn't because you see the relationship between the two. It's a cartoon, for one thing, and there's just so many things that go on. There's so many things in this world to be worked up about and to worry about and get upset about. Anime shouldn't be it. But anyway, it's got the nostalgia. It's got the good characters. I like the characters. I mean, Moroha, she's, you know, basically got that person. She's basically a girl, uh, Inuyasha. It's very nice. Setsuna and uh, Higurashi Toa. Uh, again, I like the designs of characters, the personalities are there, and it's good to see, you know, like, you want stuff to happen with, uh, Moroku, Sango, it's good to see that, Shippo, all of them, there's still some surprises there, I'm wondering what's gonna happen with, like, villains, more of the story going along, but it's only so far, and not a lot, I would say, has happened so far, but I like the girls, I like the characters, I'm afraid of the dub, I like that we get the original voices of the dub back for, like, the original cast, but I don't like... The woke politics and the agenda-driven stuff they're shoving down their throats by the people who are translating the dub, claiming they wrote the series, they're the creators of anime, stuff like that. It's like, this whole political thing on Twitter with these weirdos, this is why the dub stuff nowadays just isn't good anymore. It's very disturbing how they're trying to take over Japanese mediums. I mean, they really want to have control over it, to change it to their Western feels, and it's a shame that they're pretty much going to win over that unless Japan says, no more bringing stuff over to you guys. Because it, they just need to stop it. Sub all the way. Back in the day, sure, but now it's just getting to the point where they're all nuts. Just shut up, do your voice acting, shut up, do your translations. All you're doing is translating what someone else said. Don't shove new things in there. You just I, I, I fear what's going to happen with more and more of the dub. But I really don't care about the dub. It's a shame because I like the dub cast from the original. But if it's going to turn into the typical Funimation BS, don't support it. But it's a good series so far. I like it. I'm glad to see more of it. I did not see this coming. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Was there any hintage at all for this series existing? Until like a couple months ago, they're like, hey, there's this in the works. It's like, cool. I even did a video where I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I can't wait. And then like a month later, it's appearing in the fall. I'm like, holy crap, it's happening already. But I like the characters, again, the animation's okay, the music, again, is there as usual, the, the, everything about, it's, it's there, it's basically Inuyasha 2.0, which isn't great, but it's also not bad, so right now it's like in between, it's how I feel about these things, but I just like to see more of Inuyasha, the continuation is great, of a great series, one of my favorites, and a beloved one of many, 
And uh, what do you think about it? What are your thoughts on this? Maybe in December when I do my favorite, what I, whatever the best anime of this year, it might get in there. Or at least an honorable mention. But we need to see more of it. I know we're like, what, seven episodes in? So it... As of now, I'd say maybe a 7 out of 10. We'll see if we can get any further. But I'm liking it so far. What are your thoughts on it? Please let me know. Give this a thumbs up. Subscribe, like, whatever. And uh, keep it happening. Hooray for more Niyasha. Ding, 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 